going to London. How do I get to London? Either I go by public transport or I go in my own private car. To go in my own private car, I need to fill my car. I need to be sure that the car is serviced properly. The tires are good. If I'm going to be going by public transport, I need a taxi from my house to the train station. I need to have booked a train uh, um, some days before, some weeks before. I need to take that train to London. Today's topic is on a business plan. We are going to continue on a business plan. Now, this is a quote from Brad. It says, business plans are as important as goals. They defy your company and keep you on the right track later down the road. Updating your plan is also important. Be sure it reflects your business in every stage of its development. Without a plan, it is very easy to get distracted. You can get and start doing other things unless you have a plan that you've written down that will keep you on track. Welcome to ChaiExpertsAcademy.com, a place where people come to learn business and be inspired. So this topic is the continuation of business plan. So at this point, you have chosen the business idea you're going to turn into a business and you have tested it. Now it is time to put together a business plan. So I outline in detail the objectives of your business and how you plan to achieve your business, how you plan to move from point A to point B. A business plan is going to show you that. A business plan is a great exercise for sorting out your thoughts and it allows you to plan your business in a structured way for yourself and for outside parties such as investors or partners who will be able to read your business plan and understand what you're trying to do and how you are planning to achieve what you're trying to do. Great planning from the start can be the difference between a business who is going to succeed and a business who is going to fail. So in this video, I'm going to be guiding you on how to create a great business plan. A business plan must be sectioned a business plan must be sectioned into parts for it to be clear and for it to make sense. A business plan has got the executive summary, business background, your product and service that you're going to be selling, your market breakdown, your marketing strategy, your operations, your management who are going to be in your management, the proposal, the finance and forecast, the team, the legal entity, how you're going to protect your business. That's the legal um, end section. Your supporting evidence and the risk analysis plan should include many key elements and follow simple and clear structure. Always aim to create a business plan that anyone could read up, pick up and read and understand what your business is all about. Let it be very simple, clear, and that any layman will be able to pick it up and read. It has to have your objectives and how you are going to get from one point to your goal, which means you have to be able to break your business plan 
down into clear sections. You need a content page. The content page. This will make your audience, the people who will read your business plan, be able to skip straight to specific parts that interest them. A content page will allow them to quickly skip and get to where they want to get to. Or if it's going to be digital, be able to click, just go and click on that section and go straight there. A content page needs to be sectioned and formatted properly. If you're going to be numbering, make sure you number 1.1, 1, 1, 1. 1. 1.2, 2, 2.1, 2. 2.2. If we are going to be using letters, let it be A, 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 B, 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 A, B, B. You must be consistent with your formatting. You cannot use numbers and then use letters. Your content page needs to be clear so that people can go straight and skip to where they want to go. The business plan is the executive summary. An executive summary is an introduction to your plan. It's an introduction to your plan. It shows the overview of everything in your business plan. It provides the reader with a short, concise, and clear overview of what your business is, is all about. It shows what you're trying to do in no more than two paragraphs. It will show your objective. It will show your mission. It will show the key to, keys to your success. It will show and pinpoint on every section. It's like a summary of the whole thing. After your executive summary, you should have a section called the company's summary. And this company summary must show where you are at, what it is that you're doing now, what your company or what you did before, and what it is that you want to be doing in the future. You should talk about how it is set up. Does it belong to one person? Is it a partnership? How is it going to be managed? You talk about the history under the company summary. What is the history of the company? How is it currently operating? Is it currently operating on full capacity? Are you getting sales? Are you selling or everything, your product, your service? Are you on full capacity? Or you are not on full capacity? Your company summary should say this. Talk about its operations, the raw material you're using, what you combine together to get the finished product. Even if it is a um, service that you are delivering, what do you put together? to get the finished product. Is the company already operating? Put it under the company summary. You should show these in tabular or graphical um, way. What is your, your, your performance? The balance sheet that you have right now. Do you have balance sheet right now? The assets that you have, the liabilities that you have, the total capital that you have. The company summary should show all of this. The next section is your business model, products and services. Here you need to outline your business model and what are the products or and services that you are going to be providing or delivering. What is the problem that you're wanting to solve and what are the solutions that you are bringing to the market? 
or what are the solutions that you are providing? The term business model refers to a company's plan for making profits. It, it will identify the product or services the business plans to sell. It's identified target market and any anticipated expense. So all of this is going to be put under the section business model, product or service. Your business concept comes under this section. What problem are you solving? For whom are you solving this problem? Children, adults, men, women, nursing mothers, what are you? Who are who are who will be your customers? How will you create customer value? How your product or service will get to your customers? How your business will stay competitive and all revenue and costs you anticipate? Your business model, product and service section, we have all that. The next section is the customer market analysis and competition section. You need to write down your potential customers, the market for your products, the service you're delivering, and the solution like I explained just some few minutes ago. Have the market that you are in segmented segment it understand your competitive landscape landscape including who your competitors are and where you are in comparison to them for example if you are in set in the service accommodation market you provide service properties to guests is either what, what is your section? Are you providing to some particular sets of people? Is that your own model? Is that your own market? I, or do you want to concentrate on the leisure market, the professional market, corporate contractors? or some kind of particular people or some kind of companies. These should be written in your business plan. It should be segmented. When you have pinpointed and you have made clear what who your market is going to be, your customers are going to be, then you look at your competition. Who are your competitors? Who is doing exactly the same thing you're doing? Or who is doing what you're doing in addition to the or, or to other things that they are doing? How are you going to stand out? You need to write this under the customer market analysis and competition section. What is your strategy and how are you going to implement your goal, your business plan? This needs to be written in the strategy and implementation section of your business plan explain what you do in detail and the steps you take to implementing and achieving your goal what are the external organizations you work with do you work with cleaners what are the external organizations if it is the example I gave earlier service accommodation. Who do you work with? Do you work with Booking.com? Do you work with Airbnb? Do you work with Google? Who do you work with? Who are the external organizations that you work with? Explain your competitive edge. What do you do better than your competitors? What is that thing that you had? that you know that your customers will really, really love. What's your sales strategy? And who handles the reservation in your company? Who will the customers get to and who will handle that reservation? 
talk about your sales focus not write it and then graphically show it your sales focus is it seasonal do you make do you sell throughout the year or do you have a time that you sell these should be under the strategy and implementation section break the percentage of sales into their seasons do you have two seasons in your own market? Do you have three seasons? When do you sell the, the, the most? Break it down. How do you sell? Do you sell directly or through third party platforms? Do you sell direct to customers? Do you call them? Do you email them to MailChimp? Or do you use third party platforms to get to your customers and attract them? What is your sales forecast? If you haven't sold, you need to write, you need to show what you're forecasting that you're going to sell. If you have sold, you need to show what you have sold in this strategy and implementation. The next section is the marketing and sales section. You need to show a clear plan from a marketing and sales perspective how do you intend to achieve your object your sales and marketing objectives how are you going to sell are you going to use your own website what are you going to sign up to google and have a booking engine on google when people are looking for you they find you on google there's a booking engine there. How are you going to sell? What is your marketing and sales strategy? Are you going to have and create adverts? How are you going to generate revenue? How is got money going? How are you going to reach your, your customers? Through what platform? Funnel, are you going to reach your, your customers? Adverts? Are you going to be on other people's platforms and make sure that you're on the first three pages there? Or are you going to pay Google for adverts and make sure that you show up for some words? If it is photography, anybody saying London photography, that you're showing up and people are able to click and then come to your website and buy from you how are you going to get to your customers how are you going to market how are you going to sell you need to write this and uh, under this marketing and sales section if you have already begun write what you have already done under the marketing and sales section Write it down, but you must also show it graphically. If you have not sold, you're just starting. You need to show a focus of what you think you're going to be selling. How you're going to get to your customers. How you're going to market your product or service. And how you're going to generate revenue under the section. The next section is the management section under the business plan. This is just about you and your partners or who you work with. Explain how you will manage yourself. Where are you going to live within the first, first, first year, second year? Will you take a salary in the first year? If you're going to take a salary, how much is it going to, to be? What part of your expenses will the business cover? If you have a partner, explain what they get, how they will be managed. And then include a table, a projected table, or if you have already started um, paying yourself, include a table that shows your management plan. 
your salary, how much is, it is, um, your, your business expense, how much is the company going to be paying out of that, your partner, you know, if you have a receptionist or you have any other person working with you, how much they get, how are you going to manage yourself? You need to include that under the management section. The next section is the financial plan and projection section. You want to show your current finances and any projections you have for the business. If you have already started, then it will be your current finances. If you have not started, then it will be your projections. Always make sure to be realistic with financial projections. You will have to back them up at some point. A lot of your partners will be interested in this part. So you need to, it needs to be detailed. It needs to be detailed. You have to explain it with words and then graphically explain it month by month. What are your financial projections? What or if you have already started, what is your financial plan? Where are you? Where will you be in future? Where were you yesterday? You need to show that under the financial plan and projection section of your business plan. The next section is going to be your team. Include a short section about your current team, who they are, their qualifications, their experiences. If you have, you have, if you have expansion plans for human resources, you need to put it here. So who are, who are your team members? What is their qualifications? It needs to be written down in your business plan. So the next section is your business plan summary. This section should summarize your entire business plan. It's just like the executive summary. However, this one needs to be in bullet points. It needs to be in bullet point format and you need to provide contact details so your audience or your readers will be able to easily contact you to ask questions. So in conclusion, your business plan needs to have an executive summary, business background, that is the history of the company, before, now, and future, what you intend to do in the future, what products or services that you're bringing to the market, what is your market breakdown, which section are you going to be in, what's your marketing strategy, how are you going to bring your product or service to your customers, your operations, how are you going to carry out things, bring things together, your management, you managing yourself, your finances, and your forecast, what are you doing now? What, what kind of money is coming in now? How are you managing that money? How are you going to grow your forecast? Your team, who are going to be on your team? Who are the people on your team right now? Or who do you plan to bring in? All these are the major things or sections that has to be in your business plan. Next week, I'm going to talk about formatting a business plan. So there's going to be a business plan part three, formatting a business plan. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button so you know when I drop another video.